Buhai everyone, Marcus here. Welcome to the channel and for today's video, I'll be giving you my performance review on the new players in the basketball scene, which is the Skechers basketball. So let's find out if they perform good. Before anything else guys, thank you Skechers Philippines for sending this over for me to try it out. But still, my opinions and comments on the sneakers and review of these sneakers will be dependent on me and not because they are sponsoring this video. The model that I'll be reviewing first is the Skechers Resogrip. And there's another model which is called the SKX Float. So SKX is actually um, X is for the performance line of Skechers. So this is the SKX Resa Grip. So if you are watching the NBA, you would see this on the feet of Terrence Mann, I believe. And this is actually the colorway he's wearing for the Clippers. And Terrence Mann is a small forward guard. He's a quick guard. So this is, I think, more towards those types of players, those fast players. Uh, the guard players that are very shifty so the rest grip that's what they're calling it and the reason why rest grip is because rest grip is the tech that they are using for this outsole which is kind of similar to the flow foam of under armor so it's actually a foam and there's no rubber compound at the bottom and it says it's being i think it's being produced by goodyear so Skechers is tapping Goodyear for their outsoles for these two models. So I think that's a good way of starting it, that they're tying up with a brand that is known for its tires, their grips or the rubber compound. So did it perform well? At a very clean court, this Resta Grip kind of feels like the flow, but a toned down on the grip on the floor it's not as grippy as the ones on the flow it's mainly i think because of the traction pattern that they use here it's actually like knobs i just wish that they made like linear hang bone pattern for the first pattern for the rest of grip but overall for a clean court they grip really well on the floor but on a dusty floor that's the i think the flow of this kinds of traction which is made out of foam it's very similar to the flow foam is that when they catch dust particles the traction will drastically decrease so on a dusty court um, it's not well recommended so you need to wipe it a lot on a dusty floor and you would feel you won't be slipping on all over the floor but you would feel a slight slide on it so i think because of the dust present on the outsole so it's kind of flat if you're looking at it on this part so i wish that they made it like a blade style in terms of the pattern of the outsole so that it won't gather dust so i think that's one way of fixing this problem but on a clean court like i said it's very very good on a clean court but as for outdoor use i don't think even though this is made out of good gear but since this is foam you could see when i'm touching it and flexing it it's really flexing so i wouldn't recommend this for outdoor use but i like the base how wide it is the balance of the forefoot part will be really really good and it's very to get your stability on the forefoot so especially if, if you're like terrence man you're a quick guard you want to get your balance really quickly for a jump shot or for a drive and the support on the outsole is really there. It's actually very wide in the forefoot. If you look at from the bottom view and even on the heel, it is also very wide here on the heel. So as for the balance of the sneaker when I was playing with it, I felt very stable. So I think that's one of the strengths of the rest of grip is how stable it is and how nice the lateral support is on the outsole of the rest of grip. Now let's move on to the upper of the sneaker. Of course, the upper of the sneaker is made out of like a ribstop upper with some underlining fabric, which is kind of made out of this very thin nylon. But for this model, uh, surprisingly, the support was really good, even though it's really thin. And they added some straps here for 
four foot support and fit so like in other sneakers the wings here provides additional support and of course the fit will be improved when you pull your laces up it will give you a very nice one-to-one -one fit and really prevents your foot from sliding off the footbed especially on the lateral part and even this plastic piece here also provides some lateral support when you're doing lateral moves or cuts and that TPU plate goes all around or wraps around even on the medial side so even gives you a very nice arch support if you want one and of course that is your stability plate too it gives you some torsional support and of course when you're running up and down the floor it gives you a tiny bit of spring back because I think the plate is just up to here doesn't spring back that much but it's still there and it's kind of ample and as for the ventilation of the upper there's a lot of holes if you can see the middle part and lateral part there's a lot of ventilation and it's very cool around your foot and even on the tongue there's some additional holes here and the tongue is pretty plush it feels like not your ordinary foam it feels like a memory foam and it's also placed here on the heel counter for or your achilles pillows it's very soft it's kind of similar to the nike sphere of the lebron 20 and 21 it's very nice it's very comfortable around your ankle and this one the rest of grip is a mid-top sneaker so it gives you a little bit of extra ankle protection and of course, there's additional lace tubes here if you really want to secure your ankle. It, it will help you get that feeling. And as for the design of it, it looks like a strap. So when you tie this up, it will kind of pull your foot to the back part or the heel part of the sneaker, giving you a better heel protection or heel containment to the sneaker. And speaking of heel containment, there's a plastic piece here orange piece but there's also an inner heel counter which is the size is okay it's not too big but it will do its work and of course the hyper burst foam or the hyper burst pro foam also goes up so the foam of this one is the this is the pro version according to the tech specs here in the box and that's a little bit different to the ones the hyper burst that will be in the float version so this one i think is more dense compared to that we'll be comparing it i'll be giving you a slight comparison between that because i played with this too and as for the insole the insole is it's not the i think this is it looks like the hyper burst foam that they're using inside because it's the same feeling that I got from their slides so it's the blue so it's when you're pressing it it's really really soft so that gives you additional comfort under your foot when there's a step in comfort there the strobo board is made out of foam but there's a plate there so in the middle you will feel the plate at the back let's see let's press it down you could feel the foam a bit at the back and the forefoot and uh, surprisingly, um, the foam is not too low to the ground and not too high off the ground. This is the right amount of foam, which I think is good because I would like to have more impact protection on this. And this one has ample impact protection. If you can see this line here because I use them. So that's the foam here. It's dense, but it has a very nice compression to it. So heel impact protection is nice. And there's a slight bounce back in the forefoot, but not too bouncy. So it's more of an impact protection the forefoot rather than bounce or spring back, but it's still ample. Uh, I was um, expecting that it will be really low to the ground feel, similar to the Curry's, but this one is a little bit thicker. So there's more impact protection for your knees, like what I really need. So. This is ample enough for me and it's not too thin and it's not too thick either. So as for the weight of the Resta Grip, uh, they said that it's one of their lighter models because they removed the rubber compound on the outsole. So for a size 11 mid-cut, 
it's 437 so the weight is actually on the lighter side but not too light but it's on the lighter side because um, usually on my mid-cut sticker on the US 11 it's around 470 so this is 30 grams lighter compared to the others so I think they shade off a bit of weight because of the outsole but still giving you the support so I was really surprised with the support that the upper is giving me given that the upper is very very soft doesn't need any breaking time because of how comfortable and soft it is so I was surprised that it wasn't too flimsy in the forefoot especially and I think that's a big help of these two straps on both sides it works for me so I think the rest of grip I would say is very nice for guards that are shifty and quick on their feet and the ops of this sneaker is it's very comfortable from the start and the only downside is of course the grip if it's on a dusty floor um, it's not too dependable on a dusty floor as for the price of the rest of grip it is priced at 8,900 pesos so it's a little bit on the steep side so 160 us dollars but i think um, for the two sneakers from Skechers, I would prefer this more compared to the other one even though the float has a better cushion for me but the, the rest of grip plays and feels a little bit better on feet it feels more responsive but it's $160 I just wish that they kind of made it around $130 below 140 for the first basketball signature sneaker from Skechers but it is what it is but let me know what your thoughts are and as for the sizing of the rest of grip go through to your size I'm a US 11 and this I'm a regular foot so I would say if you're a wide footer go half a size up and if you have a regular foot like me go through the size so let me know your thoughts on the rest of grip from Skechers do you like them? I like the other colorway, the gray ones. And this one, they look clean. And let me know what you think about the sneakers. Have you played with them? Give me your thoughts in the comments down below. So this has been Marches. Once again, thank you for dropping by this channel. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.